Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudabuyo playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.7 PC Edition and this is the 16th in a series of videos in which I conquer an ocean monument. Uh, in this video I will be building the breadth sand pusher which allows me to dump sand over a 13 by 14 area uh, so that I can AFK dumping sand uh, don't have to do all that manually. I'm going to go ahead and start building this out. I, I will need uh, some wood planks. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to get rid of my tools first. I won't need any of this stuff here. And um, I'll keep my wood planks over there. Shouldn't need any food for the time being. So I uh, get some wood planks, and I'm, then I'm going to need to get all of my redstone stuff. There we go. Uh, and I'm also going to need a chest. Okay, so um, I'm going to be building the um, uh, the breadth sand pusher for the first section of the first group of sections. Uh, in order to find that section, I, um, I'm going to find the marker that I laid down, uh, 18 holes down this line of holes here. And this marker is the, uh, uh, is the corner of the first section that I'm going to uh, AFK sand dumping over. Uh, <clears throat> The edge of the section is uh, right here, and I want to build the uh, sand pusher just one block off of that. Uh, and I'm going to lay down uh, blocks all the way down uh, the um, uh, how, however long this particular section would be. It'd be 13 blocks wide, uh, so I'm going to lay down um, uh, 13 blocks. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Uh, and now at the end of this, uh, I'm going to take a look at the ni nine blocks in front of me here in a, a kind of a three by three grid. And anything that's a hole, I'm going to go ahead and fill. Okay. Uh, and then I want to make a little, uh, little bit of a, um, an angle shape there um, so that I have a block in the center and it kind of uh, points up uh, to the upper left corner there. And now I'm going to turn to the right. And I want to make sure that this is not a hole. If it's a hole, I'm going to fill it. And I'm going to place a dot of redstone right there. And I want to place a, uh, a block to either side of that redstone and then uh, directly on top of it. Okay, I'm going to move over to the right and uh, place uh, some more redstone uh, right underneath me. And I'm going to want to draw this redstone all the way down, uh, all the way to the end. So make sure it's on this end block over here. Uh, and back to uh, uh, back over here, uh, in the gap uh, between this uh, line of blocks and the uh, middle block of that three by three area, I want to place a repeater, and I want to put that repeater uh, on one, two, three ticks. I'm going to hop over to the center block of that three by three area, and I'm going to put another repeater here, and I'm going to want this repeater on four ticks, so all the way. Now I'm going to take a redstone torch and put it on the block uh, that that uh, repeater is sitting on, and uh, take my redstone and uh, create a line of uh, a wire of redstone from this torch over to this block here, where I'm going to place another redstone torch, and I'm going to uh, stick my last dot of redstone, uh, my my last redstone uh, right there to create a little short wire from that redstone torch. Uh, now I want to turn back around that first redstone torch. I'm going to place a block directly on top of it, and that's going to start a clock. This is a uh, standard um, uh, torch repeater uh, loop clock. Um, since the uh, repeater is on four ticks uh, and the torch has a fifth tick, uh, this is effectively a, um, a one-second clock, uh, five ticks on, five ticks off. Okay. Uh, I don't want that running for the moment though, so I'm going to place a lever right up here, and, uh, uh, and that will stop the clock. Okay. Uh, now it's time to put down my pistons. Uh, so uh, next to this uh, bottom repeater, I'm going to want to put my first piston right here. And I put a block next to that piston, and another piston on top. Uh, and uh, turning over to the right here, um, so the, the uh, next to this piston, I want to place another piston. This one will extend. Okay. And I want to put another piston on top of here. Okay, Both of those are going to extend. I'm going to hop back up on here. This is the first piston I placed down, this one right here. And I'm going to want to put the, uh, the dropper directly on top of that. 
And now uh, over this bottom repeater, I'm going to put the hopper uh, going into the dropper. So you can see that it's going into the dropper there. And I'm going to place the chest uh, directly on top of the hopper. Uh, this is the place at which I'm going to AFK, uh, and I'm going to be placing sand uh, next to this block right here that I just placed on top of that uh, piston. And uh, we're all set. This is, this is everything I need uh, to build out this machine. Uh, now I just need to stock it with sand. Let's go ahead and put these back. Now, um, 32 blocks of sand, or sorry, 32 stacks of sand um, is sufficient uh, for pretty much uh, any of these sections. Um, uh, the corners re tend to require the, uh, the most sand if they are over um, a very deep ocean, uh, but um, 32 blocks should, uh, or 32 stacks of sand should satisfy everything, uh, which means I can, um, uh, uh, I have 36, so I'm just going to fill everything up. Fill the, uh, the dropper, uh, the hopper, and uh, put the remaining sand in the chest here. Uh, and now I'm ready to go. Um, but before I, uh, before I start the machine in AFK, um, all of the torches here uh, that are within the bounds of the section, so in this line of pistons and all the way down to the, uh, all the, way down to the end of the blocks there, um, they would get pushed off by sand, uh, and uh, I would prefer to keep those, so um, I'm going to collect these torches um, before, uh, before I start AFKing. There aren't too many of them per section, just a few. And uh, these ones over here are also within the uh, bounds of this machine. Uh, <clears throat> I don't have to worry about mob spawning uh, even at night, because... Um, I, at no point am I outside of the 24-block uh, uh, range, uh, uh, so I'm within 24 blocks of every, uh, uh, of every square that's not lit, uh, so mobs aren't going to spawn anyway. Uh, and I want to get this out of my uh, uh, first, uh, first uh, hotbar slot there, and I'm ready to go. Uh, now, uh, I'm, when I switch this machine on, it's going to start spitting out sand at me, and I'm, I'm just going to place it against this block and wait here. Uh, I should note that this machine operates uh, very close to uh, uh, the boundaries of some timing. So um, the, the pistons are all timed uh, very specifically, uh, but you have to also consider the amount of time it takes for sand to fall. And... and that timing, it turns out to be uh, pretty critical. Uh, if the pistons operate too fast, um, a lot of the sand tends to pop off. Um, and of course, if the pistons operate too slowly, then it just takes long, uh, longer to uh, put everything down. Um, uh, I'm going to be placing one block of sand per second because that's, my, uh, that's the uh, period of my clock over there. Uh, and uh, the timing of the pistons with respect to my placement of the sand um, like I said, operate really, really close to the boundaries of some timing. Uh, the very first block of sand that I place here, uh, every once in a while it does pop off as an item. Uh, but other than that, uh, as long as I'm standing here, I don't really have any problems uh, losing sand. Um, uh, at least not in a uh, single player world. If, if I were to be doing this on a server, I might expect a lot more sand to be popping off as an item. Uh, in which case I might want to adjust the period of this clock um, to increase it by you know a couple of ticks uh, just to uh, just to make sure that uh, I'm not losing a tremendous amount of sand. Uh, but in the single player world, uh, I know that I'm not uh, I'm not really going to lose any sand, so I'm just going to go ahead and switch on the device and uh, um, start my AFK start my AFKing here. So just going to drop sand right here. And it is going to be pushed uh, by those pistons in, uh, in a little bit of a strange pattern. Let me see if uh, we can see. So it's, uh, it's pushing the sand all the way along uh, first in that direction. Um, uh, but what's going to happen is eventually the piston uh, to my right there is not going to be able to push anymore uh, because the um, uh, it will have been it will have uh, have 12 blocks and uh, more than 12 blocks in front of it uh, and when that happens uh, it <coughs> the uh, pistons uh, that are uh, kind of uh, in front of me uh, they will be able to start doing their job pushing sand over to the right 
Uh, so I'm just going to keep doing this. Um, uh, this uh, can take a while uh, if you've got um, 32 blocks of sand um, uh, or 32 stacks of sand rather. Um, you know, you can expect uh, well one second per block of sand basically. So uh, uh, you're looking at uh, one stack of sand per minute. So you're looking at about a half an hour of AFKing. Uh, it can take a long time. Um, uh, but uh, uh, then again, um, I don't have to actually manually dump any of the sand. It's all being done for me automatically. There we go. We can see the uh, sand starting to be pushed off to the right there, uh, and um, uh, that is going to fill all the holes. Uh, pretty soon, uh, when, once uh, that line of sand is done, uh, there's a piston um, uh, in front of me towards the bottom. Uh, that uh, will not be able to push anymore and when that happens there is another piston that is going to push that uh, one block down uh, that line of wood planks in which case it will start filling up the next row and that's more or less how it works um, I, I'm not actually going to uh, videotape the entire AFKing procedure here uh, that would be pretty boring uh, so I will see you back when uh, when this is all finished Okay, at this point the machine has reached the limits of what pistons can push, so it's just uh, spitting sand out at me. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and um, uh, take a look. Uh, so this is basically what it produced. I've got a couple of uh, additional lines of uh, sand on top here. That's because of, the, uh, of these pistons here. But um, uh, other than that, it uh, covered this entire area. Uh, all the holes are filled. It also uh, built out this uh, temporary sand retaining wall uh, just over the edge of the stone. Uh, and uh, it's um, time to go ahead and clean this, uh, uh, clean this up, uh, tear this machine down, and then build the depth, uh, uh, the depth sand pusher uh, in order to build a kind of uh, thick, uh, uh, wall, uh, thick and high wall of sand over here. Uh, uh, so that's more or less it for the uh, breadth sand pusher. Um, a, a couple of caveats though. Um, the first one is that uh, despite the fact that I went through some effort to make this machine really easy to build and easy to tear down, uh, it does take time. You know, it takes a couple of minutes to, to put it up and a couple of minutes to put it down or to take it down. And you've got to run back and stock it with sand and everything. Uh, and uh, uh, it also takes time to just dump sand manually. Uh, so my, my rule of thumb is that if I'm going to be dumping fewer than eight, block, uh, eight stacks of sand, it's probably um, less time consuming for me to dump that sand by hand than it is to, uh, uh, to build the machine. Um, now all of the outer sections are going to require way more than eight stacks of sand, uh, but some of the intersections um, that are uh, over the Ocean Monument that aren't actually filling the terrain around the Ocean Monument, they're only going to require about eight stacks of sand or something close to it. Um, and, uh, and so I might just want to dump sand for the intersections uh, manually rather than build the sand pusher. Um, but if you just really, really hate dumping sand um, uh, and are more interested in, in building out this redstone device, um, feel free. Uh, it would just require building this and tearing it down 24 times, uh, one for each of the sections. Uh, the other caveat that I wanted to mention here is, um, is a little bit more insidious, and it has to do with the fact uh, that some of these holes uh, and uh, all, of the, uh, all of the edge here that's uh, creating the sand retaining wall, um, they are over the open ocean, uh, so that they are dropping sand uh, not on top of the ocean monument, uh, but over the over the basically to the uh, uh, over the edge of the ocean monument, kind of to the side. So, uh, and uh, to demonstrate one of the uh, uh, to demonstrate the potential problem with this, uh, I'm going to go visit a, a nearby ocean monument that's uh, off to the north uh, over there. Uh, that has an interesting feature. So here I am at an ocean monument that's generated not too far from the one that I'm working on. You can see the guardians going to town on the squid there. Um, this ocean monument ha has the um, uh, has a really interesting aspect to it. Uh, let me uh, go into spectator mode here. Uh, in that it uh, generated uh, uh, right above 
a uh, an abandoned mine shaft. Um, and when I mean right above, I do mean right above. So some of the floor of the uh, uh, of the um, uh, ocean monument is part of the ceiling of the abandoned mine shaft. Uh, now, what makes that uh, really interesting, uh, dis despite the fact that they just sort of coincide, uh, is that there is an, a block over here uh, that shouldn't be there. So that uh, rail right there uh, technically should be washed away by water, um, but it's not being washed away by, wa by water, and that's just uh, um, because of the way in which uh, things generate. Um, nearby water uh, isn't always uh, updated, so it's not always technically flowing. So. Uh, this um, this rail is not being broken because technically the, the it's uh, no water has attempted to flow into its space. Uh, now rail being a partial block um, uh, or a partially high block um, will uh, means that when a, a sand entity uh, a falling sand entity uh, falls down onto the rail. Uh, it will not uh, reemerge as a full block of sand, uh, either in the space of the rail or on top of it. Uh, it will instead uh, turn into an item, uh, which means that if I am uh, up on the, up on a cover that I built over this monument and I'm AFKing sand dumping, and I'm dumping sand and it's falling directly onto this rail, all the sand that I'm dumping is just going to pop off as an item. Uh, and uh, I will lose it all. <laughs> the the solution to that, uh, once you've um, discovered that maddeningly you've lost a huge amount of sand, uh, the solution to that is to basically surround it uh, by dumping sand all around it. Uh, you might be able to get down there manually, um, uh, grab the rail uh, or um, uh, or whatever. But I also have some uh, leftover TNT. Uh, and I might just uh, uh, drop it down here, uh, risking uh, to break uh, some blocks of the monument that I could repair later. Um, but one way or another, um, uh, this is a this is a, a potential problem in that you're probably going to lose a significant amount of uh, your sand resource. Uh, but there's not a whole lot you can do about it unless you uh, are actually able to investigate uh, the entire terrain around the ocean monument. So. Uh, that's one kind of important caveat. Um, uh, just uh, be aware that there are situations that uh, are, let's say, unpredictable. Uh, and so these procedures are not going to be able to handle every single one. Okay, here I am back at the uh, sand pusher. It's time to tear this machine down and then build the depth sand pusher. Um, I'm probably going to have to go back uh, to the center here and get some tools. If it was night, I'd probably want to put down a couple of torches, some of the ones that I removed here, uh, before going in, uh, and uh, going more than 24 blocks away from here. Um, uh, in the next video, I'm going to be building the depth sand pusher. I'm not actually going to be cleaning up any of this sand uh, because um, uh, otherwise uh, some of the stuff that I would clean up <laughs> would just get replaced uh, by the depth sand pusher. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll do that before cleaning up any of, this, uh, any, uh, any of this sand. I'll clean it up at the end of uh, using the depth sand pusher. Uh, and that is it then for this video. Um, uh, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments.